Hello everyone, Jebro here and today I'm just quickly talking about how you can basically log in and do a quick few things to make sure that you can get the most out of earning, well potentially money or actually just getting your ready self ready for Heart of Thorns the expansion. Now the first thing is daily logins, make sure you are logging in daily, even if you've got two seconds while you're brushing your teeth or you're getting ready for work, make sure you log into the game and just grab that extra chest above your map, make sure you open it and uh, grab your rewards of course then if you're in PvP you can do these dailies which are on the screen which give you a nice little boost potion which can help you boost your reward track now I've actually saved mine so when the Heart of Thorns comes out if there's any new reward tracks I can just burn through the tracks get the new skins or get the new items that I need to get very quickly now in terms of the laurels now the laurels are very very good to keep as well to get these bags which are on your screen at the moment you can get different um, different level mat crafting materials which you can sell on the trading post for a lot I'm saving those at the moment reason is we don't know how much you're gonna need of whatever for Heart of Thorns of course you might need lower crafting materials and stuff so those might be worth a lot of money now on the case of also PvP as well and the reward chest, if you've checked out my Magic Find videos, then you will know that saving up your chests and burning through them all at the same time is very, very beneficial, mainly because you can get a lot of materials, you can get a lot of armor, you can sometimes get res as well, you can get... Um, high-end crafting materials you can get ascended items but you can see the buffs there just behind just below my character above the abilities of course where you've got tons of buffs and so make sure you can use those laurels to buy things like magic find boosters and I'll put a magic find guide um, below as well to, so you can see how you can boost that but I would urge you if you're doing PvP or world checks just save your chests up do this do this exact thing go to world v world get that um, get that buff as well from uh, the world v world outnumbered buff and just you know you can really make a lot of money off this reward track or well, more money than you would be if you weren't using the magic find boost and weren't opening them all together like this um you can sell the mats which you've got extra stacks of of course if they're not fitting in your bank and uh you know it's just a great idea to do it this way this is how i've been doing it of course there are other ways to um make money from this as well I mean you can sell everything you can put it in the mystic forge you can sell the good you can try and get rares from putting the greens in the mystic forge as well there's loads of different things you can do to earn money from this and also you know you can just save it again for heart of forms put it in your bank and actually you know wait and to see because I think there's going to be tons of people coming back to the game, so they're going to need lower crafting mats to get themselves up if they didn't play all the way to 80, say, in their PVEs and they want to craft stuff, you know. So having different level tiered gear is great. Also make sure you're opening these chests at level 80, or I would say also around level 60 as well, because those, at the moment those materials are worth quite a lot of money as well. So, as I said... Sometimes I go to the Mystic Forge and I chuck in the greens I get from the reward tracks. So a lot of people in PvP, they just go to the vendor, they sell all their crap, and then they get like 10 silver from 4 items. Here you can see, I actually get 2 rares out of only about 10 or so items. Um, 12 or so items, which is actually pretty good. I got a bit lucky on this one. But they can sell for like, I don't know... 20 to 70 silver at the moment depending on whatever it is if people are burning stuff with the uh, mystic forge to get precursors but if they're not worth more than 35 silver i would literally use a rare um salvage kit salvage it and you get globs of ectoplasm which you can sell for more than 35 silver that's why i said don't sell it uh, sorry don't sell it if it's not worth more than 35 because you can actually make a load more out of that rare of course it's a very quick video this is why i'm going through it very quickly because it's just minor info it, that would help you really uh, to make a little bit extra money so as you can see here the globs being worth 35 silver actually pretty much bang on so i was right about that and uh yeah good to save those up or to actually just sell them if you do get the rares and salvage them and they're not worth 35 silver 
or above. So the one of the last things I do every day um, is because actually, because I completed a lot of the PVE stuff, is to go to my home instance and actually um, mine some different bits and pieces, like the sprockets and the candy corn and whatnot. And uh, yeah, that's and the quartz as well, which is very good because you can actually combine 25 of them to make one of uh, the rare quartz crafting materials per day and uh, that's actually quite useful as well to save those things up because you don't know what you're going to need for half horns and you're probably going to need this stuff and I actually use um, one of the winter's day mining picks to actually do this so I can actually get some of those snowflakes as well tiny bit of extra cash a couple of copper here and there but you know it's for free pretty much and I got a ton of those picks as well so I can actually make some money out of it slow money but it's extra money here and there and you can sell, see how much they sell for I mean two uh, silver 34 copper each for those quartz and then obviously the sprockets as well and I've saved a lot of those sprockets up so so far I've made I could make like four or five gold um, at the moment overall I've got some deposited in my bank so finally the um, last thing really that you can do if you have it is the uh, Maudry when you can actually use that daily to burn up this bloodstone dust and uh, get yourself some bags get yourself some loot here and there I did get a rare the other day actually I didn't open the rest of the bags here um, but yeah, as you can see, pretty nice to actually have all these different bits and pieces combined overall in the day. And I know Mordry is like something which is a little bit more rare to have, especially as a PvP, because it's mainly something crafted through PvE. Um, you know, it's something good to do. It's something to get in the habit of every day and to actually get your dailies done get your um, daily PvP done, Get go out into PvE and get those dailies uh, done. They're not really, they're not for achievements, it's more to get these potions and these little bits of experience and little bit, few items here and there, which can really help, like over, like, until expansion, even now, you can really, like, build up your supplies of gold and your crafting materials and stuff, because it's really going to be beneficial for you, whether or not you're a PvP or whether or not you're a PvE. -er, it's just good. Even, like, even logging in and getting your daily done is great, because you can, right at the end of the dailies, on the 30th day or whatever it is, you can get the, uh, you can get 20 laurels. So make sure you pick the 20 laurel chest because that's the thing you're going to make the most money out of. And also you can get levels, you can get um, experience scrolls, you can get loads of different stuff which are going to be very useful for you to level up and to actually, you know, be prepped. This is pretty much why I'm doing it. So I just thought I'd make a video and let you know what I'm doing. Sometimes it's nice. I'll see you very soon. Don't forget to chuck a like, a comment below. What do you do every day to uh, prep for Heart of Thorns? What are you doing? Are you doing the mining runs around ore and different places like that? Are you doing dungeons? You know, what are you doing? Share your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you very soon.